Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So today we are going to be doing the much awaited, much talked about. I know I promised this for months and months and months, but we are doing Instant Pot meals. So yes, I hope that you guys enjoy. If you are not subscribed, because like 85% of you guys are not subscribed. That's a lot of people watching my videos that aren't subscribed. So just go ahead and subscribe. I do cooking videos, whether it's crock pot, instant pot. I'm starting to do kids, lunches. I have all kinds of stuff on my channel. So if you guys are interested in any of that, go ahead and subscribe and even if you're not. Go ahead and subscribe. Help me reach 50,000 because we are so we are so close. Like, wow, we are that close. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe. Love you guys. Let's go ahead and get into these Instant Pot meals. I hope you guys enjoy. For Instant Pot meal number one, you're going to need one package of sausage. You're gonna need one can of cream of mushroom soup, one can of mixed vegetables that are frozen, one cup of white rice, you're gonna need half half of an onion dice. You're gonna need some pepper, two cups of beef broth, one cup of sharp cheddar cheese. And the recipe calls for two tablespoons of olive oil, but I just I just use my olive oil spray. So I sprayed the bottom of my pressure cooker, went ahead, cut up the sausage into little circles, went ahead and put my instant pot. Sorry, went ahead. I, I put my instant pot on saute. I added this little frozen onion mixture. I think it had like celery in it too. And just go ahead and saute that until your sausage is brown. And what you're gonna wanna do from here is take a quarter of the cup of your um, beef broth out of the two, like I went ahead and I put measured out two cups of beef broth and then I took a quarter cup out of that two cups. And then you just wanna put that on the bottom to break up any of the browned bits on the bottom of your Instant Pot. So like I said, quarter of a cup of beef broth. By the way, my beef broth is lower sodium. And you just wanna take that and like I said, scrape up the bottom. Now you wanna take your cream of mushroom soup. I put it in this little uh, measuring cup. Take the rest of your beef broth, which is like one and three fourths cups, whatever. Um, and then you just wanna whisk, whisk that together. Um, so then after that, you're going to go ahead and put your frozen vegetables into the Instant Pot, and then you are going to pour this little mixture on top. By the way, this is called, um, the, this is called Instant Pot Sausage and Rice, and oh my gosh, it was so incredibly delicious. Unfortunately, my son really didn't like it, but my daughter and I, loved it and I also gave some to my mom and my dad and they were like oh my gosh this is so good so yeah super quick and easy too like so easy all right so once you put in your beef broth mixture you go ahead and just put in your one cup of rice and the recipe states to not like it it says do not stir like it's adamant about the fact that you do not stir this rice I don't know why I think it doesn't cook right or something so you just kind of pat it down into the liquid and make sure that it is submerged into the liquid but do not mix it in with the other ingredients and then here I'm just putting on some pepper putting the top on the instant pot and you want to cook this on um, high pressure for nine minutes Obviously, make sure you close the steam valve, make sure that's uh, set to close. Um, and then once it cooks for nine minutes, you want to allow it to naturally release steam for three minutes, and then you let the rest of the steam out with a quick release. Um, and then that's what I'm doing right now. And then obviously you're gonna take the lid off, you're gonna take your one cup of cheese, add half of the cheese into the mixture, stir that in, and then you wanna take the rest of the cheese, put that on top, put your lid on, and let that sit for like at least five to 10 minutes. Um, this was so good. Like, look how delicious that looks. So look, so here it is, I'm just stirring the cheese in. And I always have a habit of like tapping my spoon on the, bat, on the sides of my bowls and my things. Do you guys do that? Like some of you get annoyed in my crock pot videos if I leave that sound on but I get annoyed with it too. I'm like, oh my gosh, Jill, how many times are you gonna tap that off? Anyways, go ahead and sprinkle the cheese on the top, close the lid, just let, let it sit there. Don't put any pressure or any heat or anything, just literally let it sit there with the lid on and it's gonna melt. 
and this is what it's going to look like and oh my gosh it is so 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 delicious so that's what it looks like in the bowl highly recommend this one for instant pot meal number two it is taco pasta no taco casserole and what you're going to need is one pound of ground beef you're going to need a packet of taco seasoning some uh, olive oil spray or some olive oil you're going to need some beef broth everything all of the measurements and everything is going to be down below because it's going to take you to the recipe but you're going to need some beef broth some fiesta blend cheese any kind of noodle the only one that i have on hand right now are these wide egg noodles um, and then you're going to need a can of diced tomatoes and a can of tomato sauce so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and brown up this ground beef i'm also going to throw in some of this seasoning blend it only calls for half of a diced onion but i'm going to go ahead and do that um, then i'm going to dump everything in and then we are going to cook it on high pressure for three minutes Here we go, it is done. We're gonna go ahead and do a quick release. You wanna sprinkle your one and a half cups of cheese on top. And you don't wanna put your, <laughs> you don't wanna have your Instant Pot on. You just want to put the top on so that it kind of can melt and the sauce can thicken a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for 10 minutes and then I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll show you what it is that I'm gonna serve this up with. Look at that. That looks delicious. Do you guys see that? Okay, so I'm just gonna put some of this in bowls. Probably top my kids off with some more cheese. I'm gonna do mine with some sour cream, some crushed up tortilla chips, and I'll show you what it looks like in a bowl. So this is what this deliciousness looks like. Doesn't it look amazing? It smells amazing too. Um, these are the kids' bowls. This one's mine. I just topped mine with some sour cream. We have a visitor for dinner tonight. My mom's here with us, so just have hers topped with some sour cream as well. And that is Instant Pot meal number two. The next one I do, I'm super excited about, and I cannot wait to show you, so I will see you for that one. Okay, so tonight's Instant Pot meal is breakfast for dinner. I'm so incredibly excited for this. We are having pancakes in the instant pot yes we are having pancakes so what you're gonna need is one of these little egg molds and you can get this on Amazon I will link them down below I actually got a complete kit which is about maybe like five ten dollars more than what these are individually and I got like a bunch more stuff so I will link both the kit and this little egg mold but what I've done here is I've just taken some pancake mix which is just this great value pancake mix. You just add water. Super simple, super easy. And I went ahead and I did half a cup because I am, you know, trying to lose weight, counting calories. So I went ahead and I um, did mine um, so I can do mine separately. I'm trying to figure out, I need to remember somehow which ones are mine compared to the kids. But I'm just gonna go ahead and I need to move this over. And I'm just going to pour, I think it's going to give me about two. You want to pour it like 
three-fourths of the way. I don't know if you're supposed to... Nope, it's going to give me about three. But what I'm also going to do, now you can add like whatever you want. Like if you want, <laughs> don't make a mess like me. I mean, you know. Um, but if you want to add like chocolate chips, blueberries, walnuts, like whatever you want to put in your pancakes. I'm going to go ahead and use chocolate chips so I don't have to use an additional sweetener. Um, so I just have these Enjoy Life mini, mini chips. And one serving is one tablespoon. So I'm going to go ahead and just do one tablespoon and divide that into the three. Do you guys want? These are actually me like super chocolatey. I'm going to go ahead and add the extra four in here, make some more pancake mix. And I think I'm going to do theirs with sprinkles or something like that. Top theirs with sprinkles so I know the difference. And then I'll tell you guys how you're to cook these babies up and what you're supposed to do. So let me go ahead and whip their pancake mixture up real quick. And I'll be right back. So sorry, the air fryer is going. My kids are about to cook up some eggs. So there's a lot of noise going. But you want to go ahead and add one and a half cups of water into this liner. You want to go ahead and lower your trivet into the Instant Pot. Then you want to put your little mold, your little pancake mold, onto the trivet. Okay, so we've got it in there, just like so. You want to put the cover on it, or the lid. It's plugged in. Do so you want to set this to high pressure for eight minutes? Then what we're going to do is we're going to allow it to naturally release for five minutes, and then you release the rest of the steam. So high pressure for eight minutes, natural release for five minutes, and then lift out, uh, let the rest of the steam go. So it's been natural, it's been releasing naturally for five minutes. So we're just gonna take this and let the rest of it come up and release. Unlock. And we're going to get this chocolate out of the way. We're gonna take the molds out. Let's take the foil off. <laughs> They're sprinkled. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So it definitely is still a little too hot to handle, but this is what they look like. And there's your little pancake bite. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and I'm gonna plate them up and I'm gonna show you guys what we are eating these with. So this is our breakfast for dinner. We have our little Instant Pot pancake bites. Mine don't look that great. Um, I kind of like took mine out a little too quick. But that's what the inside of it looks like. So it's nice and delicious chocolatey. I have here some chicken sausage some bacon, some eggs. This is how the kids turned out. Theirs turned out much better. Their chocolate's on the bottom. And so are their sprinkles. And then that's what the top looks like. And they're just gonna top theirs with maybe some whipped cream. Ooh. But definitely some, um, whatever this is. Syrup, yeah, <laughs> butter flavored syrup. So here you go, Ava. Do we have butter? Yes. I wanna do some syrup. And then, as you can see, they also have sausage, bacon, and yours is gonna yours is gonna touch your eggs. I don't care about that. Oh, okay. So yeah, you just put you just put um. So yeah, you just put uh. What is this called? Syrup, Syrup. on the top of it, and you eat them, and they're little pancake bites. How cute are these, you guys? I prefer this way, honestly, much more than making them on the stove top. So give them a try. Let me know what you guys think, and I will meet you back here for Instant Pot meal number four. For this Instant Pot meal, I'm super excited. It is a pot pie casserole type thing without the crust. So what we're going to need is one pound of cubed chicken. Here I have some chicken thighs cubed up. You're gonna need one 16 ounce bag of frozen vegetables. This is the one that I had, so I just weighed out 16 ounces. 
You're going to need 16 ounces of egg noodles, so that's the whole bag right there. You're going to need four cups of chicken broth, which is right here, and you're going to need that whole container. You're going to need some olive oil. I just have my olive oil spray right there, some garlic powder, onion powder, one cup of heavy cream, and you're also going to need some salt and pepper. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to transfer, um, we're going to spray the bottom, then we're going to transfer the chicken thighs into the bottom, saute it for about two to three minutes. Then you want to go ahead and add in the egg noodles, broth, veggie, and veggies, and we're going to cook that on manual high pressure for five minutes. And once that five minutes is up, we're going to do a quick release, add in one cup of the heavy cream, and we're going to put the pot back onto saute and cook that for another two to three minutes. And tonight I'm going to be serving these with um, just some biscuits on the side. So my kids actually are gonna love this because they love pot pie. They love the filling. They don't, however, like the pie crust, which I'm like, what? That's crazy. But this is definitely like a healthier version of a pot pie. So let's go ahead and let's get started. for five minutes now we want to do a quick raise Ooh, this looks and smells so delicious and was done so quickly so we've got our chicken nicely cooked and noodles now we're going to add in one cup of heavy cream. We're gonna go ahead and put it on saute. So now you just wanna let that cook on saute for a couple of minutes and dinner is served. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It is super delicious. And I'm super excited to try it. By the way, I was going to have this with biscuits. It's like a chicken pot pie type thing. But I realized there's already enough carbs with all of these noodles. So we're just going to eat it just like this. If I had salad mixture, I would do it with like a side salad. But I don't. So this is it. So that will do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. So everything was super delicious. Our favorite was by far the pancake bites. I want to make like the egg bites that I've seen people make from the Starbucks dupe like copycat, copycat ones. I want to make those. Um, I want to, there's like a lot of different Instant Pot meals that I want to start making. So if you guys are interested in seeing more, let me know. If not, totally understand and we won't do them. It's not a big deal. Um, I did want to mention that everything that I made was delicious. There was nothing that I felt like a, was a fail. Everything went, whether it was I gave the rest of it to my parents or my mom came and ate with us one night um, because some of the meals did make a huge amount of food that me and the kids would just never be able to go through. Um, so everything was delicious. We enjoyed everything. My parents enjoyed everything. So I hope that you guys enjoy it as well. I will link all of the recipes down below. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. By the way, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.